Hello and welcome to another video where I'm going to do another full day of eating because the last one went really, really well. So I'm going to show you how I'm in my 500 calorie deficit and I'm eating 2,100 calories at the minute. Not only that, I'm aiming for roughly about 20,000 steps per day as well. So I've got a step goal that I want to be hitting as well. So that's what I'll be hitting as well. That Today, I can't actually get to the gym. So I've got some home equipment, which I'm going to be using. I'm going to show you how I'm going to be using it as well because I sort of do it a little bit different to at home to at the gym, but it still works for me. Get ready and go grab meal number one. We're we'll just keep it very, very simple again today. So we're going to use 60 grams of oats. We're going to use two scoops of whey protein. So there's 25 grams of scoop there. So what I'm going to do is just add in two scoops of that in there. We have then got the almond milk because I like the almond milk where I'm lactose as well. I just prefer it. And then it's lower in calories for me as well. And then I'm going to go for roughly get about 100 grams of blow frozen blueberries and just stick it all together. There you go. There's meal number one. Yes, it doesn't look pretty, but I've got the carbohydrates in here. So what I'm going to do is wait about two, two and a half hours, and then I'm going to go and train. While I'm waiting for all that to digest, I'm just going to go and get on with my client check-ins. I will tell you now, all of my clients are absolutely smashing it so far. So I'm proper impressed with them. A couple of them, yeah, we've had to tweak around a little bit, but they're getting it. They're getting it. I've had my carbohydrates this morning. So then what I then do is wait two to two and a half hours. Then I will go and train with my weights and then I'll make sure I get some of my step goal in using my treadmill that I need. And then I'm going to get some more carbohydrates in after that. So I have my carb. What I've been trying to do is carbs before my workout, carbs after my workout. And then what I then tend to do is just make sure the rest of it's like a low carb sort of like thing and then usually because we follow the 80 20 rule i then just have whatever i want at the end of the day as well as long as it fits into your calorie deficit you'll be absolutely fine right so i've got a back row on my thing that i do at the gym now normally i do go a lot heavier and all i've got with my tempo when i'm in the gym is normally two seconds up with a two second squeeze and a two second down okay so i need to make it a little bit harder it's, got, I mean, it's about training smarter not harder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert this into just like a back row that we do in the gym okay i'm just going to put my feet in all I'm going to do, okay, so I need to make this harder for myself, okay, so instead of doing two seconds up, what I do when I'm at home for the back row is I do something very simple like this, so I go one, two, three, and four, I'll then hold it for three, two, one, and then I'll come back down for four, just like so, okay, and then what I will then do is I will go for as many reps as I can go, okay, even if I get 12 in, I get 15 in, I just keep going until I cannot go anymore, but it's the same with the rear delts at the top. Now, normally when I'm in the gym, I will use the rear delt machine because I love that machine, okay? And again, I will go a lot heavier with that one as well. But again, I can't do that with this one, okay? So again, I'm going to have to use the resistant band. So what I do here, hands are going to come out nice and straight, okay? I'm going to just bring them in, okay? I'm just going to try and make it like a rear delt machine. So I'm going to hold on tight to it and I'm going to squeeze, 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 and I'm going to hold it just here for about three seconds, and then I'm gonna bring it back down again, nice and slow. And again, doing exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna go until I cannot go anymore, take a 90 second breather, and then I just go again. All right, right, now I'm gonna do my incline press. So these only go as high as 25. Now when I'm in the gym, I, I can lift normally a little bit heavier than this, right? But I've normally got a two second drop down with a one second squeeze, and then I have a two seconds back up. Okay, but what I'm gonna do now is, cause I need to make it a little bit challenging for me, so I'm gonna change the tempo speed. So all I'm gonna do is change the tempo speed. Nice and very simple, I'm just gonna go four seconds down, I'm gonna do a little slight little squeeze at the bottom, and I'm just gonna push it straight back to the top. Okay, and that is how I'm gonna progress at home. <laughs> so I'm just gonna come up, I'm gonna bring them in, Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is four seconds down. So I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, hold it there, and then I'm just gonna push it back up. And I'm just gonna keep going until I cannot get any more reps out. And that's just a couple of little tips. That was just three exercises that I showed you, but I do it for every single exercise that I have when I'm at home. So all I do is I slow the tempo speed down. So let's just say in the gym, I've got two seconds down or two seconds up or something like that. All I do is I just double it. So I go like four seconds down, four seconds up, slowing the tempo down and I'll hold that contraction. So it just gives me that contraction that I need to get coming down. And then obviously I'm giving, holding that muscle as a little bit longer than a 
I normally do, because normally what I do is I use the machines, like it's say, say the rear delts, I'll hold it, and I'll hold it there for like two seconds, squeezing that muscle, and then I'll come back again nice and slow. But it's the same as working at home. You don't need much equipment if you want to work out at home. All you need is a set of dumbbells, a bench if you can get it, and a couple of resistant bands, and you can actually get a pretty decent workout in. So I've just done an upper body workout, and yes, it, um, it, it, I did it in 35 minutes, this upper body workout, 90 seconds rest in between its exercise, and I just busted this thing out. But yeah, all done, so now I can get on for the rest of my day, and let's go and get uh, meal number two. So I'm going to grab meal number two, so this is for me straight after my workout, so I've got 35 grams of carbs in there, so I'm going to get some carbs in there, I've got 32 grams of protein as well, because I'm going for the high protein diets as well, and that's what it looks like, yeah alright, it's not that big, but I can then just get this down me, because then what I've got, got to go and do is, I've actually got to pop out and I've got to go and do all the school rounds anyway, but this will just keep me going. Um, until I basically get home. Getting in some steps now, just gonna go the long way so I can get my step count up as high as I possibly can whilst obviously I'm doing the school run. I've got to pop into town, go and grab a couple of bits for my dinner tonight. Tell you what, UK is absolutely freezing. Let me know what country you're from and what your weather's like in the comment section underneath. Right, back from the school runs, uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to have this one here. So one little small tub of chicken, and then four baby bell lights. So that's gonna be my snack. He's taking this dog for his final walk. So this is gonna be his biggest walk so he hasn't been out yet. So what I tend to do is about five or six K if I can get it in. It's usually a five K. It's absolutely freezing out here. So five K is doable. As you can see, I'm rest wrapped up really, really warm because it's absolutely freezing out here. But I'm still gonna bust out that five K walk just so that he can have his longest walk done. Right, so it's time to get some dinner now. So I'm gonna have the whole pack of this. So it's 200 grams of that. We're gonna have 10 grams of taco seasoning. I've got one, two, three bell peppers, the red ones. We're gonna use half a bag of this peri rice. And then I'm gonna use 30 grams of this cheese. There you go, finally finished it. Didn't take too long. Just put them all together, cooked it up. Eight minutes went inside the air fryer and then bang, done, air's done. Um, you can also meal prep these as well. So you can put these into like a lunch box and you can take these to work the next day. You just reheat them in the oven in the microwave. So I'm going for my final meal for the night. So I'm gonna have not one, but I'm gonna have two of these chocolate puddings. So there's 20 grams each in there. And then we are gonna wash it down with a decaf Pepsi Max. So there you go, there's another full day of me with my eating. As you can see that I couldn't get to the gym, but it does not matter, and that is how I go around it. I just slow all the tempos down, and I just try and do as many reps as I possibly can. Just basically just go to failure on every single rep. I do prefer training in the gym because obviously they got more equipment but then if I cannot get to the gym I've just literally just got to do the best that I can just to make sure I'm hitting each muscle group at least twice a week. You can see I'm still on 2,100 calories so yes that is my 500 calorie deficit. I'm, I'm not changing it at all because the chart's coming down very very nicely and I'm just going to keep track of it. I'm weighing myself every single day and then I'm getting about 20,000 steps in each day as well. If you want to follow my journey, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button down there. You'll be notified every time I post up a video. Until then, I'll see you lot in the next one.